Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and I have a few more stages to show you guys that I have uh, played before and decided they'd be kind of cool to show off. This one is Base Under Glacial Seas by Wesley Jackson. So, as you can see, we're starting with Infinite Gemini Laser, which I had another stage on this channel that uh, started with that, and Infinite Gemini Laser is kind of absurd. And this is no exception. Now, it did take me a couple of tries playing the stage to figure out how to unlock the other weapons, because you'll see that they're locked. You have to go left to start with, and just rain lasery death. You do need all three keys. I don't fully get the purpose of having three keys instead of, you know, just one here, but whatever. And I do like the themes of this sea. Er, this sea. This stage. We're under the uh, ocean. Now, another thing that can happen... If you jump into the ceiling, you die. I don't know if there's, like, hidden spikes up above or anything, but that's... I just find that really odd, so do be mindful of that. Oh, I need laser. Thank you. And we'll pick up the keys again. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes that, or if that was something that was done intentionally. Uh, I think I gave this kind of an average rating. You'll see why. So we get these weapons. We get the Ice Slasher, which is cool. But most of these weapons, you don't really need to fight these enemies because you have Infinite Gemini Laser, and Infinite Gemini Laser, as we know, is kind of absurd. Look at how absurd this all is. Barely have to do any aiming. So yeah, you need the keys in order to unlock any of the other weapons, so if you go through that gate at the start, you're not getting any other weapons. Which I found that kind of lame, too. Uh, but now we get the Water Wave, which functions very differently when you're underwater. I like that. That's another thing I wanted to show off about this stage. But you're going to want to use Water Wave normally here. And we get the Crystal Eye. Now, we're the other issue I have with these weapons that we're collecting and all that is we're basically at the end of the stage. So we've collected three weapons in a very short time, and now we're at the end of the stage where we fight the boss. So yeah, there wasn't a lot of chances for those other weapons to shine, not only due to the infinite Gemini laser, but also just the pacing of the stage. So I don't believe I gave this one a uh, thumbs up or, or a thumbs down. Yeah, Iceman here is weak to the Crystal Eye, and I like how it can <laughs> bounce around the room and do fun things like that. Oh, Crystal Eye is a fun weapon in this game. Well, it was a fun weapon in Mega Man 5 as well. But this time, uh, the difference with Crystal Eye is when it hits something, it will... Uh, well, it'll still explode into its other... Uh, three smaller orbs and bounce all over the place, whereas in Mega Man 5, it didn't actually do that. Alright, we've got some time today. We're going to play Plant Man Mirror. This one is by Blood Sorrow. And we're playing as Proto Man. We get uh, some fire weapons. And our double jump is disabled. Okay. Why would double jump be disabled if that's a base thing? Maybe there's a thing in here where you can transform into base. Yeah, there are pickups that let you transform into, uh... Yeah, we're going... We're actually not going to the right, we're going to the left. Interesting. Oh, we get Atomic Fire. Let's use Atomic Fire. Because it does not get enough love. Ooh. It does use up, uh, weapon energy, though. Take that. Ooh. Fill it up. Uh, I don't need that stuff. I might after this. 
So strategy for this room, you can just uh, hang out on that ladder and use your firestorm. Strategy for those guys, well, when I don't hit them the first time, again, use the firestorm. Maya! We're glitching the game again. Yep, that's, that's what, I'm not, I'm not even going to try to explain how any of that worked. Uh, we're just going to move on over here, and Pharaoh shot when you time it correctly. Can one-shot those guys. So yeah, the three weapons that we get all get a very nice chance to shine. Give me my full Pharaoh. There we go. Found something tonight. Thank you. Yay! Yeah, once again, kind of like Plant Man stage, as long as you're... Well, now I'll just take this. As long as you're not holding the jump button while you're on the springs, you're not in any danger of that... Uh... There we go. Of those spikes. Uh, we want Firestorm here. Firestorm, my favorite weapon from Mega Man 1, because I like the barrier weapons. Yeah, hold down the jump button to get the super bounce on the spring. I'll do some basic platforming here. Although I don't think any of that was necessary, but I like it. This is kind of necessary. Yeah, Firestorm, not the greatest thing against those dragonfly enemies. Unless you can catch him, well, catch him like that. Bouncing cannon. I like the concept of bouncing cannons like this. And we are at Plant Man. So, which of these fire weapons is he going to be weak to? I don't remember. Well, not that one. I don't think he's... I'm doing this terribly. Okay, Pharaoh Shot. He's weak to Pharaoh Shot. Very weak to Pharaoh Shot. Now that I'm not worried about what he's weak to, I can focus on dodging him properly. At this stage, I do remember I gave a thumbs up to. And, you know, we're at eight minutes. We, do we have enough time for another stage? Last stage that I have downloaded so far. This is Night Sky Nightmare. So we're playing as Proto Man again. Double damage disabled. Proto Strike disabled. And this stage is by Peekaboo. I could make so many jokes about that name, but I'm not going to. I'm above that. At least until we play Peekaboo with Charge Man here. I'm not sure what the Proto Strike is. I mean, our shield still works, our charge shot still works. So I'm not sure what was actually disabled. We have no special weapons yet, so we have to collect them. I think that was my main issue with the stage, kind of like that uh, first stage we played in this video, with base being under the sea. You're going to get the weapons really late in the stage, and not get much time to use them. Which I find is very unfortunate. I do like this challenge. You set this enemy just a little bit higher, so you can't jump over this thing. You have to slide under it. And it acts as kind of a mini-boss. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's another thing about this stage. There's a ton of checkpoints, and I don't like this section because... Yeah, there's that spike drop. I, I died there a couple times just because I don't like that boss gate that's there. It kind of stops your jump and momentum, and then you, you're suddenly going again, and then you end up going too far to the right, or, or you don't react in time. I have a cat here. Just focus on the cat. 
I like those cannons shooting at us because it does add a little bit of strategy to this uh, battle because you can reflect their shots with the proto shield. But there's no real reason to focus on that. Focus on getting rid of the cat because, well, that's what you need to do to move on. And just ignore the cannons. And then we get uh, these fun guys. Again, Shades of Gyroman stage. Yeah, what did I do? I Look at this. I killed one enemy and I get another checkpoint. There are way too many checkpoints in this stage. Way too many. Okay, fine. You won't reflect. Like that. I, I killed, like, two enemies and got a checkpoint for it. I'm not sure what the purpose of this up and down thing is here. I... I don't know, it looks... because it's... it's completely not necessary for anything. So I'm not sure what was the intention behind that. You do want to be up here. Because, yeah, you'll die if you try going down that way. And, yeah, some weird, weird screen transitions here. Like, I don't know, something should have been blocked off a little bit better. Because, yeah, now we come over here and... Yeah, it's... it's odd. And we can reflect his own shots back at him, so that's nice. We can reflect shots at this guy, too. But you can't be firing and reflecting at the same time. Uh, this one, you gotta go up here, grab the key... Yeah, you have to grab the key. And by this point in the stage, we should have found one or both, rather both of those weapons by now, because the stage is actually not too far from being over with. Well, there's the charge kit, which I don't actually recommend using there, because it won't kill the guy, and then you'll take damage. I know this from experience. Yeah, they give you a charge kick. Here's where you have to use it, because, well, down there is death. Again, another weird transition. I would have liked if they had made it so you had to... So you had to use charge kick to get through these time bombs. Like, don't give you enough space to make the uh, jump. Force you into using charge kick. And since you can get up here with charge kick, put some... Put an extra bonus up here. Put an energy tank up here, if nothing else. There's just so much potential that we could have had here. That's why I ultimately did not give this stage a thumbs up. The weird transitions are not helping either. Well, Charge Kick is really nice against those. Again, another uh, uh, generator for health and weapon energy. Wait, I... Did I miss something? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the transitions in this are all sorts of off. Yeah, there's our dive missile. We get it at the end of the stage. So it's obvious that the only place you can actually use this on is the boss. Which is really unfortunate, because Dive Missile is a really cool and strong weapon, and deserves more love than this. I don't know why it's flying off the screen there. Yeah. So, that was the stage. Again, none of these were bad stages, but a couple of them just had a lot of questionable design choices that just felt like a lot of wasted potential there. Getting weapons at the end of the stage, having very little uses for those weapons other than, you know, kill the boss with it, and just some other, like, weird choices like that. But, um, the Plant Man stage I really liked, though. That was a good one. So, yeah, if you want to see your stage or another stage played on this channel, leave a comment in the comment section with the level ID. Uh, so... I'll see you guys next time.